everyone. Hope you're all very well. I know nothing about this game. I um, I wasn't sure what uh what to stream today, so I messaged uh Johnny Chiarini earlier today, and I said, "What should I stream?" And they, well, I gave them a choice. I said, "Should I stream the Forgotten City or should I stream Inscription?" And they recommended Inscription. So if this all goes wrong, blame them. Um, but yeah, I felt like I wanted to stream something different, and of course. There was a uh, we we watched the um, the BAFTA Games Award uh, 2022 nominations last week, and this is up for best game. So I was like, you know, I think I think we should probably check it out. So let's do that because it just seems like a very odd mix of things, which is always fascinating, and it's spooky. And anyone who watches this channel with any degree of regularity will know that we love spooky things here. So let's have a look. Daniel Mullins and Devolver. Devolver is usually um, usually a okay. good bet for when you're looking. Figure out what's on this thing. When you're looking for a game that's slightly slightly unusual, slightly. I mean, the the aesthetic of a lot of uh, games that Devolver digital represent are just. Jeez. Okay. Press any button. Where is the any button? Well, I already really like the aesthetic. <laughs> okay. New game is grayed out. Can't do that. That's interesting. Uh, I promise I haven't played this at all, ever, before. Um, we've got continue. Options, quit. Okay, so... Aha! Uh -huh. Alright. Let's find out. What's going on? Oh, I don't like you. Hmm. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Yeah, yeah, I sure have. Please, please tell me. Thank you. Allow, allow me to remind you. There we go. Ooh, play the squirrel card. What, what happens if I don't? Oh, we better do what they say. Now play, you're stoked. Oh, I see, okay. But what do they mean? Stoats cost one blood, sacrifices must be made. Oh, jeez. Okay, squirrel's dead. Sorry, squirrel. Play the oh, the stoat's so cute, though. No. Oh, hello. Ring the bell to end your turn and com commence combat. So it's kind of like a, um, like a, uh, like, oh my god, the words just left me. Things eat other things. Ecosystem. You know, the z z z thing. Where the thing eats a thing eats a thing. Oh my god, my brain. I'm sorry. Your stoat stands unopposed. Okay. Number on the bottom left is its attack power. One. Okay, I, I get this. I've played I've played magic a little bit. Um got you. Oh. Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. Okay. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Well Ugh! Get your get your hand away. Get your dirty wee trotters out of out of shot, please, thank you. My turn. A coyote. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote, so the, uh, the coyote's got two attack, but only one health. Hmm. So, if they attack me, I'm dead, but I can kill them in one hit as well. Oh. Well, shit. <laughs> yes. My turn again. I've got wolves. My wolf's gonna kill your coyote. Uh, no, I don't want a squirrel. No. How reckless of you! Thank you. Well, hey, wait a second though. My stoat's not off the table, so does that mean it? 
uh, where's its health? Because I thought it only had one health. You're lacking sacrifice. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Here. Oh, there we go. All right. Oh, so I do need a. S oh, I do need a squirrel. Shit. Shit. Oh, feck. Okay, I messed it up, guys. I didn't. I didn't. I forgot about the whole sacrifices thing. Yeah. So what are you gonna make me do? Can I attack? Can I attack the thing? Uh. Well, yeah, but you... Can I attack? I want to attack your coyote, please. Can you... So this is sacrifices. This isn't their health. Is it? Attack is left. Oh, it is. It is their attack. So... Oh, shit. Well, because you're learning, I will pass. Thank you. Squirrel. Got it. Nope. You're liking- okay, but I do- there we go. So two- two sacrifices means I can play a wolf, right? Yeah. Sorry, guys. Okay, not removed- its suffering was real, but you will see it again. Jeez. There we go. Okay. Yeah, where's your- wait, where's the coyote gone? Hey! Three weights on the scale. Pass. Uh. Well, I suppose I need to play the squirrel. Can I play you? No, it needs to. Oh, never mind. Okay. You're dead! You're dead! Get out of here! Yes, I have. Well, we'll see. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. Oh. You were lost deep in the forest. There's me, look. A single path revealed itself. Oh. Oh, cute. Two denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. An adder, the caustic adder, damage from its poison bite is always lethal. And the cat, the undying cat, sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Yay! Only one may grace your paltry deck. I feel like I have to go for the cat, to be honest with you, but does anyone have any suggestions over this? Uh. Poison is great and all, but cats. So, you know. Hmm. Beep, 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 beep. So, and this requires two sac. Well, I don't know. One and one. This has no attack power. This is literally just used to get other things on the board, I assume. Immortal Titch. Let's go for Immortal Titch. Uh, okay. Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest deemed willing to follow you. Yes. Ooh, you came across an abandoned sack. You find a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. And have a second. Oh, thank you. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Pliers. Three is as much as you can carry. Very well. Oh god, this looks like a fight. You rambushed while crossing some rough terrain. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh god, I don't oh I don't like this. What the what? You may now see my moves ahead of time. Play along for- oh god. Um... Stump stump- what, 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 what is this all about? Um... I suppose I'll play the squirrel. Can I- Oh I- oh so these are just in the way. I see. 
Uh, well. Hmm. All right. What about what? Uh. Uh. Sure. I don't know. <gasps> Mind the ambitious wolf cub, it ages swiftly. Oh god, we don't want it to turn into a wolf, I assume. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. let's do this. Yeah, fuck you. Tag it, go. Nice. <gasps> Oh dear, it does age swiftly. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. I see. <gasps> Rude. So can you only attack what's directly in front of you then? Ooh. Um. Well. Let's put the cat here. Nope. Can't. Um. Can I put the squirrel here? Yes, I can. And then... Hmm... Maybe... Oh! Alright! Huh. 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 Um... Put a squirrel here, and then maybe we put another wolf out. Uh, yes, and then, no, I can't, I can't do that, okay, ooh, um, stop hitting me, uh, can I, what can I, what am I doing to this cat here, why can't I use it? I guess I'm putting that down. No. Can't use that. Okay. I don't the the thingy is gonna what are these for? What Okay. Um, I guess I'll put the cat in there. Uh, thank you, night cat. The cat requires a sacrifice, I see, to put it into play. Got you. Um, what does the stoat require? Three? So this... Doesn't seem worth sacrificing a wolf for a stoat. Oh. I won. You prevailed and trekked onwards past the now bloody terrain. I don't like sacrificing these animals. Uh, hello. The young wolf cub. It grows into a wolf after a single turn. Cute. Sparrow. An inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. Okay. Very well. Oh. Do I need to choose? Mm. Well, I don't... I'm not really using this, so I feel like... Wait, what did I just do? Ah! <laughs> ah! Well, we'll be fine. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist, okay? You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. Oh no. Um... Cat? Maybe if we sacrifice it, it won't, um... They're both, they're both the same. Thank you, uh, Dr. Branger. Blood drops are the number of sacrifices, not the hearts. I was getting confused. So these are both the same number of sacrifices to play. This has more health, more attack, maybe more useful. Sorry. <laughs> Host, what? Pick me. <laughs> I guess I'll listen to the the stoat. Oh god, I don't like this. A 
ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the cat and I lives in the stoat. Oh, jeez. Maybe the cat will be fine. It did say it was undying, you know. Um, that, that, oh god. What is this? Stop it. Whatever it is, behold my totem. It is, it inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. Oh, so now flying wolves. Cool. <laughs> He's completely insane. You see that, right? You know, okay. no care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. Oh, dear. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Oh, dear. Um. Well, squirrel, you gotta go first. Squirrels are like the land cards of this game. Um. So... Stone only requires one sacrifice, and it's all powered up, so I... Can I? No. Here we go. Oh god. Oh no. My totem has granted my coyote the, coyote the power of flight. Oh god. <gasps> oh! That's not good. That's not good at all. Uh... Shit. Oh shit. Uh... We're kind of screwed, you know? Uh... The stoat is now infinite sacrifices? The what now? Heck, okay, let's do that. Yeah. Can it? Do I do this? Oh, it is! Yes! Okay. Um, okay. Oh, what? I, I have no idea what's going on, but... Hey! Three damage away from winning. Uh, okay. Uh, <gasps> yeah! Screw ye, totem. Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. Okay. I think I'm getting it. Knock on wood. I'm getting it slowly. Slowly. Okay. Oh, there's a choice coming up. So. The watchful bullfrog, it leaps in the way of flying attackers. Okay. The, my the flighty elk, it moves after attacking. That's pretty cool. Uh, the reviled skunk, its stench reduces the strength of the enemy. Interesting. The elk seems pretty strong. And moving after attacking is pretty handy. I'm gonna go with the elk. Uh... Oh god. Um... Creepy sigil or fire? came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. I don't trust you. Warmed by the fire that it will enhance its power. Really? You notice one of the survivors wiping drool for- uh, They're gonna eat my creature. Uh, 
Um. I mean, if you can sacrifice the stoked again, will it be fine? I don't know. Elkin ring. <laughs> Everyone behave themselves. Ugh, Elkin. Enhance its flavor. I mean, Pyrus is in focus. Never trust a stranger that drools at you, says Gavin. You can't. Yes, very, very true. But which to give them? The stoat is pretty handy. Um. I don't know. But will it do what we think it's gonna do? That's the question. I guess the river snapper. I'm not using it loads. Yeah, I, I think. Fire warmed the Pearl River Snapper, enhancing its power. Oh, okay, it did. <gasps> Don't get off! Get off! Oh, good. Oh, we did it. Oh, well, then that was a waste. <laughs> I'll have to use it now. Um, fine. What's this now? Grand fur in the way, is it? Well, I'm gonna play my squirrel, of course. Um, and play my sparrow. And then, I guess end the turn. What? What if they? Oh, hey, 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 hey! Ooh! Oh, I need to stop doing that. I need to get some squirrel cards to start off with. Uh. You're lacking sac- can I sacrifice this? I'll need something else. Okay, well I'll need to wait then. Oh, there's a lot of grizzlies on the- oh no. Oh, I lost. Well, shit. Use this as a learning opportunity. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. No, I don't want to. Ooh, what? Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. What the? Oh, hello. The barrel beside the, yeah, okay. Ooh, God. This. Ah! Bring it here. Well, this is, this is awful. Um. I, oh, get you, get your, get your hand away. And I sit back down. I don't like this. Uh, yeah, there you go. Very natural. Let me, no, let me explain something to you. You don't explain shit to me. Oh, uh-oh. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here, fucking hell. If you make another, I must sacrifice you? No, where were we? Uh, uh, That's brand new information. Um... Oh god. So do we want uh, inventory or fire? Let's go this way. What have we got? Sparrow. Raven. A blight upon the skies. Or stalwart snapper. Yeah. Um, what does this mean? You already have them? I mean, obviously raven. You know we love a good corvid around here. Uh... No. Let's see what we get. A boulder. A rock may get you out of a hard place. Um, oh, choose one. I mean, this only did one point of damage, which I really don't think is worth anything. Um, it's good boulder. Why not? A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. Its bleeding yields three blood. If you can ignore the bleating. Oh my god. Okay, so this sacrifices quite a bit. Okay. Oh, it's Black Phillip. Um. Oh my god, is that? <laughs> Watch the hand. Watch the hand. Let's go. Um. And then. Why not? 
Feeling overburdened enough with three full items, you carried on. Oh god. Ah! I don't like it. The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. Oh yeah, I can hear it. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Ah! Yee-haw! Twas the prospector. Okay. Very well. Well, let's start us off with a wee squirrel. Um, and then... What has he got? What has he got? I can't see. What is it? A coyote and a pack mule? Okay. How come he can just play coyotes right off the bat? Um, mm, what does this do though? Is this for sacrificing? I'm gonna I'm gonna play this card and I'm just gonna get a wolf and play like straight away. There we go. Let's see what they do. Fuck you. Haha! <laughs> uh... <gasps> um... Squirrel card. Play that, and then... Um... This... Oh, no. Or actually... Yeah, go on then. And uh... Z it. Oh, they're teeth, that's what they are. They're teeth. Raven. Why aren't you dead yet? Oh God. Oh, I don't like this. We're in trouble, we're in trouble, we're in trouble. Uh, oh gosh. Why is it, why is he so powerful? Oh fuck, I did it wrong again, damn it. Oh wait, um, boulder, 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 boulder. Play, play the boulder. And the, and the, and this as well, play it. Play it, god damn it. Oh, I can't, ah! Oh, yo. Oh, I messed it up. No! Get away! Ew! I don't like it. What the... What is happening? Ah! I don't know. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. You've got a brass neck on you, fella, honestly. You're gonna ask me a favor before you kill me? Absolutely not. Ah! No! Ew. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here's some cards from your mediocre deck. Why don't you... Why don't you just get out of your shitty little cabin, okay? Why don't you go touch some grass? Elk, fuck it, I don't care. Sure. Uh, sigils. Well, um, a flight or flight, woo. I never did ask your name. Don't you bloody forget it, okay? Sir? Ah! Uh, 
Uh, no, no, no pictures, please. No pictures. See, no, not happy about that. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. I've been known to understand bones. The resourceful opossum costs two bones. You gain a bone. <laughs> I'm an adult. When one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Oh, okay. So you don't have to sacrifice them. It could be just they died. All right. Um, oh, the stoat's back. Hooray. Okay, so I am a squirrel. Uh, and then I, I guess stoat again. No, wait, this. Uh huh. And then um. Two bone tokens. Yeah, there we go. You've gained a bone. You will not lose this until it is spent or the battle ends. Okay. Fun times. Um, I don't know why I'd use the opossum in place of the wolf, though, because it has it's less, less attack and health, so we'll just keep those, I suppose. <laughs> A rattler. Hey! Uh, gonna do a squirrel card. Because I really need to get better at getting my squirrels together. Uh, yeah. Okay. Ha! Ticket for winning. Um, squirrel card, yes. And we'll we'll play that because why not? Um. Sure. Why not? Okay. Yes! Thank you. Learn in! However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. A truth to keep for each extra damage dealt. Thank you. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. Okay. Oh, I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. Oh, I, I don't like, I don't like this. It's beside the safe. Well, where are the, f oh, I hate this. This is, what's that there? Squirrel, oh, are these are the cards that I've sacrificed? Well, there's the safe. There's my wee figurine. Can I? I don't want this one. Can I have one of the... No. Okay, very well. Totem. Totem. Fox. You're awful. I don't like you. Eee! <laughs> I'll do it when I'm good and ready. There's nothing there. Hello. Beep beep. G just give me the. What's this? Behold, the rule book. Okay, I'll have a look. Um. Uh. Oh. Mighty leap. A card bearing this sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Uh, bifurcated stick. Bifurcated. A card bearing this sigil will strike each opposing space to the left and right. Ooh. Frozen away. Trinket bear. You know what? Uh, that's stuff that we don't need to worry about yet. So I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... There we go. Okay. We got a little umbrella. That's cute. What have we got? The meager coyote. But what did you expect? For only four bones. Okay. The nefarious rattler. A brittle creature once passed its monstrous fangs. Six teeth. I mean bone. And the unkillable cockroach. It returns to your hand after dying. 
Hmm. Cockroach seems pretty handy. Uh. 6 teeth to use is pretty expensive. I think it's got to be one of these two. The the your man seems pretty fond of a of a um a coyote. But uh hmm. Coyote is just kind of like just a filler card, isn't it? Hmm. I'm going to go for cockroach seems more useful. You know, you're free to get up again to keep your blood flowing. What? I am no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me time to plan. This is like me as a DM. Do keep your hands off my possessions. No promises. No, I don't want that. Thanks. Uh... something in there. Hello? Ahoy hoy. Okay, I probably shouldn't just be pressing things. Um. Mm. Okay, what's that up there? What's that? Can I, can we go out the door? Nope. Well. Can't I? Fine. Okay. Let's go. Some bone tokens for a rainy night. Oh, that's nice. Um, let's go bone tokens, why not? We're still learning about bone tokens, so... Let's go goat. Okay. Encounter time. All right. Cockroach, opossum, wolf, squirrel, and a grand fur. Well, let's go squirrel. Um, and, oh gosh, okay. We don't have any more sacrifices right now, so. What we could, could do you. And um, play you. Get your hand off the table. Um, guess what? No, oh, hello. <gasps> Rude. Play the squirrel. And then we kill you and you. Oh, very well. Oh yeah, because the goat has more. All right. Um, good. How many tokens do I have? Two, so I can play the opossum. Or I could save them for the cockroach. I'm going to play it. Why not? Why not? And... Play you. Bullfrog. go. Okay, we're getting there. Um, two tokens. I've got nothing else to really play, so I may as well pick this up. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this file cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. Oh, no stubby. Okay, um... Venerable Alpha, it, its courage emboldens the creatures that stand beside it. Oh, so it gives an attack point to... Okay, that's cool. <laughs> it me! 
and the raven. See, this is very, I mean, I feel like a raven plus an alpha, you know? Um, well, this is tough. Alpha card seems really good. My card has tons of health. Um, and better attack power. Uh, okay. Let's see. Which should I go for? The alpha, the raven, or the wolf alpha? <laughs> Um, all right, I guess I'll take this. Let's see. Fire, rucksack, or whatever. Well, we don't know what this is, actually, so let's go check it out. Oh, it's the sacrifice. Shit, okay. Um, crap, I don't really want to, to sacrifice. Can I go back, please? Okay, buddy, you go. <laughs> this stone's just too adorable. I can't, I can't say no. I can't say no to it. Okay. Um. I saw a past victim writing a passcode in the rule book. Oh! Well, isn't that interesting? Okay. Passcode for the safe, is it? How very interesting, little sturdy friend. Um, okay, off you go. Back on the board. Yes, that's right. Um, thank you. Eh, dickhead. Um. Uh, four. Oh, feck. Uh. Shite. Okay. Okay, well, let's put you there. Put you there. <laughs> I don't know. Um. What the heck is that? I know it's supposed to be a mole, but let's be serious. A wolf. Okay, I don't have anything else to play right now, so... Let's play you. Why not? Um, shit, I think I've lost this one, you know. What it? No, I don't like that. Stop it. How disappointing. Shut up. I'm getting up off the table. I'm getting up off the table. I'm looking for things. Right, uh, rule book, rule book. 273. Oh, I see. Two, seven, three. Any more? Why are there three hands on this clock? Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape that iron crypt. Is the stoat around? The stunted wolf? 
This madness must end. Put that away. Never. Hello. No, no, I'm taking that. What are you talking about? Right, key, key, key. Um. Why? What the heck? What? 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 Are we, what are we? What are we? What's what's this then? <laughs> what are we looking at here? Nope. No idea what that is. Oh shit. Um. One, what did, zero out of five. Okay, let's, context clues, context clues, come on. Not quite sure. Are they supposed to add up to five? And where add up to five? So like the whole th thing? One, three, so it has, so this. Uh, I have no idea what that means. You've got to arrange the card so you can do X damage to your opponent. Oh! I see. So, so this would be two damage. Three, four, five. But, uh, but how do you, how do I get them down? Oh, there. Oh, I see. Oh! A skink! I forgot I'd put that in there. Very well, you may add it to your deck. I'll deal with you. I'll deal you on every so often. Thanks. Thanks, Nightcat, for that. I had no idea. Uh, so, okay. So this is... Five damage, so... So this would be... One? Oh gosh, um... Because this one doesn't move. Two. Hmm. So, there's something I'm missing here. Um... Some these symbols obviously have something to do with it. Something is negating something here. Um, okay, so that helped. Um, this one doesn't want to move very well. Um, so what if I? No, that. That made it worse. Nope, that made it worse too. Uh, okay. Oh, whoops. Okay, Nightcat says the rule book may help, so let's see. Let's see. We're looking for the symbols. It's like a broken lizardy thing. Um, Boon of the Ambidextrous. Let's see. Boon of the Goat's Blood, Boon of the Forest. Um, Harpy's Bird Leg Fan, Fishhook. Failure, Hourglass. Oh, there is a lot of stuff here. Um, Touch of Death. Wow. Oh, there. Loose Tail. When a card bearing this sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing this sigil moves to the right. 
Okay. Okay. So. Very well. And the other symbol was the airborne symbol. So how does that affect? It'll strike an opponent direct. Okay. I need to stop doing that. Okay. Yep. So. So when it's struck, it moves to the right. Ah. Uh, hmm. I am I am lost on this, I'll be honest. So I'm not quite getting it. What am I doing wrong here? Is it So Night Cat says, so now, so you have to now consider that two rows equals two turns and time things to cascade. Uh, you can move them to the top row now, row, top row if there's no bar blocking them in place. Keep row two back in your hand so nothing attacks the loose tail thing. Um. So if I'm doing this now... Oh! This one doesn't move. Uh, I move back to the far row so it's not in play. It won't though. I'll be honest, don't know what I did, but I did it. Um, formidable creatures, those ants. Very well, I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challengers. Oh, nice. That's lovely. Oh, God, no! This is the real punishment! Ants. That is how you get ants. I feel like I might need to play the game a, li a little bit more to to, to kind of get the hang of this, you know? Or not. Caged wolf. Oh. Tick. <laughs> I'm just, pre I just like pressing the buttons, you know? Hmm. Okay. Don't attack the skink. I see. Okay. That's, that's the rule, is do not attack the skink. I hear you. I hear you. I can't move that, so I assume if I keep a card back from it, it's not going to attack it. Um... Yeah, I agree, Dragon Brother. I find it more frustrating when I get the right answers to things without understanding why. I also feel like I... I should... I should be... Okay, oh, these attack things to either side, but not ahead. I see. Um... Oh, so I don't... Oh, but I can't move that. So I have to attack the skink? Uh... So I guess I want that. Or maybe... No, because that attacks the skink as well. Okay... I'm slowly... getting... I have to attack the skink. Um... 
because I can't move that. No, I don't want that because do more damage that way. What if I, you know, because I'll attack the skink again there, yeah. So, no, I kind of have to do that. No. What do you want from me? I do not understand. The one below the skink. What about, I can't, I, I kind of have to play it. Um. Hmm. I cannot move the skink back. I cannot. It is stuck. It is stuck in place. So I guess I have to attack it. But um, because I can't move this one either. Um. You kill the bifurcated one. <laughs> the what knife? <laughs> what? I forget what is that is that this one? Is that this one? No. No. Left card up one. This one. But that doesn't help. First row up I <laughs> what left row up? I don't oh this one you mean. Oh there you go. Thanks everyone. Brute forced all of that, no idea. Without having met her, this wood carving is meaningless. <gasps> what are we talking about? Christine Webb, this game seems to rely a lot on trial and error and frustration. I would, I, that's probably not true. I'm probably just being bad at it, to be fair. Oh, no, not another one. There's more. Or did we already, no, we already did that. Fine, okay, very well. Ah, let me escape, please. No, I want to escape. Thank you. Um, okay, well, I guess... What are you? Oh, hello. Um, I would like the dagger, please. I... I want the dagger. May I please have it? Okay. Hello, everyone. Hmm. Well, can't we? Oh, hello. Oh, interesting. Um, I guess we'll keep an eye on this. Everyone, get oh, dang it! Everyone, keep your eye out for. Things that could be used for the clock. I guess we'll get on with the game now. Oh dear, a trap. You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Care, care to look at me pelts? The fuck? Take a pelt, free of charge. Um. Okay. See the see the quality. Okay. Ugh. Y y you're leaving already. Please consider me pelts. Oh, the fatifs. Uh. Gold and pelt. How many have I got? One, two, three, four, five. I guess I'll take this. Yeah. Thanks for your business. The man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight. But he mentioned that the trader further down the path would reward you for them. Okay. Fire. Let's go fire. Hi, everyone. A group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There's room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its health, said another. Mm. Don't you eat my animals? Pick something else, okay. Um, enhance its health. What, what, what do I? 
Three, two, two. What are you? What is this? What is this? Mm. Okay. Let's see. I don't know what this is, so... Could power up my card a bit more. What do we think? I'm gonna assume we shouldn't pick the stout. We... Oh, the stink bug, says everyone. The stink bug, the stink bug. Is that the stink bug? Is that the stink bug? Um... Doesn't look anything like a stink bug. That is the stink bug, says Nightcat. Thank you. Alright, well, let's do that then, I suppose. Oh, why doesn't it say the stink bug on it then? The health of the stink bug was enhanced by the warmth. Get, get out of here. Put your knives away, everyone. No eating, my friends. Alright, an encounter. Let's do it. <laughs> you again? Indeed! Our friend freed me! That's me. I basically told them how to do it. <laughs> you got a plan? We have another friend here. I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we are in deep this time. <laughs> okay. Work around. Squirrel. Let's play our squirrel. And um, why not? Just to have, you know. Uh, what did they say? Back in the game. All right. Aha! Ah. No! That stings. Oh, no, wait. Stoke my pal. Get you in there. Yeah. Um, and work around. I suppose you go there. Ah! Ah! Uh. Ow! <gasps> um. Okay. Ah! No! It me. Okay. Well, I gotta play that. And I suppose. Ah! Ow! Ow! I see the way this is going. Do you? Cause I, cause I don't. Um. I concede. Do you? You may accept my. I don't trust this. Or you may finish this match the slow way. What the fuck are you doing? What is this? What is he doing? Um. Mm. Screw it. Let's keep going. I can't actually play that right now, can I? Damn it! Um, okay, very well. There we go. Killed you the slow way. Thought you'd like that, buddy old pal. 
Sparrow. Who's <laughs> Reginald? Ooh, Grizzly. Its form speak speaks enough of its efficacy. I mean, the Grizzly is very powerful. We've seen it in action. However, something about Re Reginald is calling to me. If Reginald seems like, judging by my character portrait, may have been the other victim they were talking about. Um, I don't know. Reginald costs three bones to use. Grizzly costs three blood. Grizzly is way more powerful, though. I would only be picking Reginald for story reasons, but I'd be picking the Grizzly for actual gameplay reasons. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Alex B, my, gra my granddad was called Reginald. <laughs> Pardon me. Um. All right. Uh, Grizzly is too expensive unless you have goats. Okay, so we should go for Reginald, I suppose. Thanks, Jem, Jem, Jem Matthews. Um, Reginald looks pretty useful, says Pink Daisy. Yeah, let's give Reginald a go then. Let's see what happens. Um, fire or sacrifice? Fire, sacrifice or fire? Let's go. I don't really see why you would go for the sacrifice rather than the fire. The fire seems like a, a benefit without any kind of um, downside. Ten hungry, ten hungry eyes around it dampened the greeting. And that's its power, said one. <laughs> Stop this. Do what you must. What do you mean? I'm not doing anything. Um, enhance its power. Might be handy to enhance the wolf's power. Um... The survivors were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's power. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your wolf. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. The incessant clank, clank, clanking reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. It was the prospector here. Oh god, not again. Um So strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. Okay. Well, let's play a squirrel. We know that's a good way to start. Uh Okay. We haven't really got any any other Sure. What's he got there? Oh, it's... <laughs> okay, um, can't do anything else, so I guess I'll pass along. Oh no, stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Um, squirrel card, I guess. Play this, play the squirrel. Then play me. Put me in front of the coyote. Uh, and then maybe play... Yeah, let's play the stink bug. Why not? Ah, dick it. Ooh, god. Okay. What have we got? Caged wolf. Okay. Can't do anything else, so... Not the coyotes. Ah. Okay, we'll have to play a squirrel here. I can't really do anything else right now. Okay. Oh gosh. Okay, well. Hard. Um, I don't have anything else to help me. Gotta. Ah. Ah. Okay. 
what the f what the heck just happened oh huh dag nabbit dag nabbit my mule aha hmm. um guess we'll take you okay so let's play some squirrels and then play the on. Are you there? What is what is this? A warren? Oh, for. Uh, mm, why not? Okay. Uh, uh. Squirrel card. Play the squirrel again. Doubt the fecundity of rabbits. Oh. Well, I don't know what you do, darling, but uh, you're out of space. There's no room for that card. Well, I guess. Ha ha! What was that? Me being awesome. Skinky skink. <gasps> oh, he's got two lives. <gasps> I hope you didn't think that would be it would be that easy. Oh there's gold in them cards. <gasps> what are you doing? Stop it. Stop it. Mother f What's going on? Okay, what am I supposed to do then? I can't... Oh, right, because... <gasps> what is that? Get him! <laughs> He's doing the prospector again. Easy boss. The mule's key. Alright, well... On you go. Go on. Okay. <laughs> um... Very well. <laughs> Enough! And queen. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. <gasps> I don't know. I guess I need some... I need some scroll cards or I need some bone cards because... Alright, let's play a squirrel. Skink. Mm. I guess I'll play you, my love. All right. Uh. And queen. Oh no way. I don't want to do that. I think I do actually. Higher in numbers, the Ants Creed. Okay. Oh, f get back, get back, get back. No, no, no! I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to get. Damn it! <sighs> Annoying. On you go, mate. Um. What? <laughs> What's happening? There we go. Sure. Oh. 
We did it! Woo! Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. Yes! You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you're granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. I have no words for this freak of nature. The long elk. He's a long boy. Pack rat. Never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. Or a, a largely unimpressive specimen. So that's a timed thing. I guess if you put that on and keep it alive for a while, maybe something happens. Um, what do we think? I have no, no idea. Um, I guess the elk can move after attacking again. It also seems to have some sort of poison thing. The pack rat has stuff when it's killed. The strange larva, I don't even know. I don't know. What do we think, everyone? Mm -mm. I'm thinking... Don't know, strange larva does seem fun. We have a couple of votes for that already, so... Yeah, maybe let's go strange larva, you know? Um, hmm. Just in case, says it might take three turns for the larva to work. But it does have a little one there. But, let's see. I'm gonna take it. Fortune favors the bold, everyone. Alright, with the sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carry it onwards. Hmm. Oh dear. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the humid air. Okay. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. So, sacrifice cards or mystery cards? Um, oh, I should have looked at what's beyond them. Dang it. Okay. Oh, it submerges itself during my turn. Oh, River Snapper, the Bullfrog. We've had you two already. So, I suppose the River Otter, um, doesn't absorb damage, but it deals out damage. Not tons, but... This is protection against aerial cards, though, so that could be handy. Mm. Mm. River Otter. Let's try it out. Oh, what is this? You came across some familiar stones, but there was something different. You intuited that you intuited that the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. <laughs> oh god. Well, Oh god. Um, I mean the pelts, I don't know if it helps, but like, they're already dead? <laughs> um... Hmm... Uh... I've, all, I've not formed a, an attachment to the otter yet, so... Nightcat says lose an ant, I think. Okay. Guess this one then. Sorry. <laughs> Callously slaughtered the worker and... However, the Bone Lord was pleased by your sacrifice. Awesome! What is this? A minor bin of the Bone Lord. You will start each battle with one extra bone. Yeah. 
You shook off the viscera of the poor worker ant and carried onwards. Fun. <laughs> Okie dokie. Awesome. Oh, newbie squirrel. There we go. Oh, felt sure. Why not? Um. Uh, oh, I see. Sure. Strange larva. Well. Let's see what happens. And then I guess I can play the opossum there. <gasps> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> um uh, Oh god. <laughs> Can't play Reginald yet. Oh, it's not looking good for us. Oh no, it didn't survive. Oh, well, I'm not going to survive. <laughs> Dang it. I hoped for more. Um this way. River snapper, bullfrog, porcupine. The ornery porcupine. Sharp quills await those who dare attack it. Okay, so it deals out damage when attacked. Yeah, it seems like fun. And inventory. What have we got? Yeah. Okay. Onward. Bone Lord. Mm -hmm. Sure, let's play this. Now, do we think it's safer here? What the heck just happened? What the heck just happened? What the hell? Ugh. Goodness gracious me. Okay, that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. No. No, 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 get off, uh. Hmm. It's gonna take another weird picture. Gah. Ah! Hold still. Ah! You're such a creep! <gasps> Grab the camera. Ha! Ah! Take the picture of you! Damn it. No! No! Get off! Oh. We have a moment. Oh, you're so great, babe. Uh, draw the cost from. Mm. Fire and hell. Ah, these are crap. Um. Greater health, I suppose. Sigils. I'm dying. Ugh. 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 Capture this, dick. You're no, you cheese. <sighs> Thank you everyone for saying I had shit luck there, because I was just like, 
Um, I guess I'm just rubbish at this. <laughs> Maybe I am. Maybe it's maybe it's both. It's probably both. I had such high hopes for that last one. Why did I bother trying to teach you? You you will learn as we go. Or you will die. Seems the lily stink bug has made its way in. But it is dealt, so it stands. Okay, so am I starting from the start again? What is this now? Instead, you must now decide on a tribe that you prefer. Well, these are all awful. Do you want the creepy deer, the creepy insect, or the creepy lizard? Huh. Uh, okay. Well... Lizard? I'm sure it doesn't really mean much. Or maybe it does. I don't like the creepy bug. Don't really like the creepy elk. Well, more like a deer type thing. Mm. Let's go this one. Oh, it's a skink. It moves over when attacked, leaving its tail behind. Randomly chosen reptile card. Did you wish for something else? I don't know. Um, what's this now? An ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings that gestured at them brusquely. Choose. Ant, airborne, or sacrifice. Well, this seems like the most useful. Ooh. The old woman bared her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem was complete. The worthy sacrifice sigil will now be marked upon all your squirrel creatures. That's fun. Huh. Hey. Greetings. Hello. Look. There's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. Okay. Very interesting. are you doing? The feck is that? <laughs> ah! Ow, my feelings. We sigil that. No, what have we got? Ooh. So if I'm if judging by the last time, the the middle card will give us an ant card, the left hand card will give us a flying card, but I'm unsure as to what the left hand one will give us aside from the the elk again. Um, hmm. Just like that noise. 
<laughs> okay. Oh, Sparrow! Fine. What's this then? The bones of the ancient woman creaked and groaned as she approached. With gently shaking hands, she placed her offerings before ye. What the... The what now? Okay, so am I choosing wolves or birds here? Uh... What? Oh. Oh! I do kind of like that though. I don't really see the point in changing that setup. Okay. All right, it's after five, so this will be a last match, and then we can and then we can call it here for today. Um, so, squirrel, lovely. Um. So. If the squirrel counts for three cards, does that mean I can just... Oh no. Hmm. Okay. One tiff. Ah. Fuck you, coyote. Oh no, okay, um... Okay, let's smash you. Yeah. And then... And there you can I play this? No, I can't. Okay, fine. Let's see how we go. Haha! Ow! Stupid coyote. Okay. Why do you mean you're not dead? Um. Mm -hmm. We did, we we got it. <sighs> okay. Well, Peter Bateman says, "How have you found your first try at inscription?" I'm really enjoying it. I'm still a little bit confused. Well, I'm still learning it. I'm sure. Um, but it's very um intriguing. I would say. Um, it's, I, I really want to know what the, what the story is, um, and yeah, I'm kind of intrigued, so if, if you want to see me play more, um, we can definitely do that. Um, I can definitely see why people, why it's been, um, nominated for so many awards, um, I'm excited to see where it goes, and yeah, like, uh, if you want to see us play more, we can absolutely do that. Uh, we've got... Uh, oh, we've got a very special stream coming up tomorrow where um, Zoe and I are raising money um, in support of the British Red Cross, um, in support of the people of Ukraine. Um, the British Red Cross is uh, just doing a lot of um, humanitarian effort now to get, um, you know, food and su uh, support and basic hygiene products and, and all that kind of stuff um, to the people of Ukraine. Um, wherever they are right now um so it's an incredibly worthy cause um and we want to support that as much as we possibly can so we're going to be playing a little bit of Elden Ring maybe some other games um maybe we could play a bit of this um because I know Zoe's played a little bit and she's a big fan um so yeah we're going to be going from about uh 1 p.m GMT tomorrow so we would love for you to join us um I've got uh, Zoe's been working on a really cool um video uh for friday and then i've got my elden ring for dummies combat tips video coming on saturday so if you if you're interested in in that well be sure and stick around um thank you all very much for joining me and thank you to everyone who was uh, helping me along in the chat i don't know where i would be without you uh giving me a little hint that nine again so very much appreciated um I hope you all have a wonderful evening, or day, or morning, wherever you are. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye!